Hey guys, this is your more girl coming back with you. I have a subscriber who wanted to know, um, you know what guys, I do my resin art trays. They wanted to know about my paint colors and what is my best and my favorite when I paint my trays. So I just want to do just a quick few minutes just to explain to if anyone else is interested in to know when I do my trays and actually when I do my other paint projects, what are my favorite colors? Now for my trays, I usually use stuff like testers and this is what testers look like. And also I just got this one and you see the color of that? See that pretty, pretty brilliant. It's like a bluish red color. And this is why I use some of these colors here. This is why this one is probably my favorite. The only problem with testers, if you haven't used them in a while, they are hard to open and I just kind of soak the lid upside down in some acetone. I discovered this because it was very, very rich and the pigments is very fluidy. And the thing is, it's just have a brilliant color. Look at this shine here. And it's very smooth. This here, it is also a metallic paint. So it gives it that extra shimmer. And when you have paint like this, you get this dark blue effect here. And you see how deep and dark and royal that is? That is a testers paint. Okay, the second favorite that I have here is these metallics here. These are absolutely become my favorite in acrylic paints. I discovered this when I did my Halloween pumpkins. So these are actually true to its you know, sample right here, this high yellow gold. So when I did the pumpkins, you see it has a beautiful, brilliant shine. And these paints was from Michaels and they only cost $1.99. This one here is rose gold. And you know, rose gold was used in some of my projects in my bathroom. And with the rose gold, I'm using to demonstrate these Christmas balls. These are the glass balls that you can design and paint yourself. So you see how with the rose gold, it has a nice glitter right here and a shimmer to it. And it's very um, opaque, so it doesn't see through at all. So it's very thick paint and it just have like a beautiful like shimmer gold to it. Okay, so that is my two favorite acrylic paints. So these paints here are a little thinner because they're ink, so you'll get this effect to it. Sort of more like an iridescent, transparent look to it, if you like that look. And it also has that different type of multicolors you can see here as well. Okay, again, it's not as thick as the acrylic paints. The third one is this one here. This here is like um, a very similar to the acrylic, but it's a little thinner. It's not as thick. Um, it has a little bit more um, fluid. It's like a little thinner, not quite like an ink. And I think Martha Stewart also has a brand similar to this. And how you get this effect is this. So it's really thick, but it has more of a pearl type image to it. It has a little bit of glistening to it, but it's more like a pearl opaque effect to it. And this is sort of like a Tiffany blue. Uh, this was for another tray that I did. It was really, really pretty, like a bluish green. Okay, so you can see how you get that iridescent. It looks like it's purple and it's almost like a purple, yellow, and green, and a blue in here. So it has all these combinations in this paint, and you can really see it when you do your Christmas ball. So this is a good idea to do your holiday, holiday decor as well, especially when you cannot get that particular color that you want. I probably end up doing like a Tiffany blue for my Christmas tree in my bedroom, and I'll probably end up doing these with this paint and, and the other colors. One thing I do want you to be mindful of is if you get one of the inks, be careful because you see how thin this was. So if you do something like this, you want to be careful what kind of ink to use for this. I think this was one of the um, alcohol inks. I'm not quite sure, but it is way too thin for the effect you want to get. Okay, um, the last one I want to show you on the balls is this. So this is the gold. This is the purple. And you can see that this is the um, green. So I combine all of these in this one little glass ball just so you can see how brilliant this gold is and how you can see the different use of the purple and you can see the green. It's sort of like a teal green. So guys, I just wanted to show you real quick the different colors I use and different paints I use for my projects. This is not just for my, you know, resin trays, but I also use this for different projects I do as well, like my bathroom, my clock that I did. You know, a lot of that was these paints just right here and along with spray paints. 
and you can use spray paint and your resin art. You just spray it in like a container and you add your resin. Okay, it mix just as well. So, okay, I just wanted to show you this quick demonstration just in case anyone else can get some ideas of how to use paints in their projects. So, again, we have testers from Michaels. We have the Art Minds. We have inks. We have acrylics. So, and everything has this different effect that you can use it with. All right, guys, this is your more girl. So, I hope this answered the question to my subscriber. Um, another subscriber asked me about my vanity mirror so i did find some footage on there so hopefully within a week i can get that video out to that subscriber as well how do i have my how did i create my vanity mirror using a medicine cabinet all right guys this is your more girl and of course i will be doing my christmas decor next week so stay tuned for that as well thanks for coming by it's your more girl